The sound of a golf shot, like a euphonous harmony launched into the air. Birds chirp along the putting green, while drivers ring off the tee. These sweet sounds, like a putt falling, are so much more than noises resonating across a golf course. For these two golfers, it's their only way to play. Yeah, I can't hit that any better. Good job, Pop Pop. <laughs> Blind golf is an absolute sanctuary because when you're playing golf, whether you're sighted or unsighted, it's about you and hitting that golf ball. And the rest of the world goes away for that time. And for me, when I'm on the golf course playing, I actually forget I'm blind. Chad Doc Naismith was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called retinitis pigmentosa at just 12 years old. A quarterback for a school team, he noticed something was wrong at an early age. About 12 years old, 13 years old, I started taking hits in football that I should have seen coming. Um, at night with friends, we'd be running out in the woods and playing, and I mean, I'd literally run into a tree uh, that everybody else was dodging. Forced to be sidelined from his football team and outcast from his peers, Doc lost his chance at a normal childhood. Being blind is a permanent state of loss. When you're 17, 18, you all can see they told me about the width of a quarter. So just socially, for me, um, it was a miserable time until, you know, my late, tw mid, you know, 23, 24. If you lose a sense, I mean, you have to reestablish who you are and, and your identity in this world. Um, and so there's a loss. It's a big loss. Without ever picking up a golf club in his 38 years of life, one day his wife Patty recommended he try out golf. He immediately fell in love. It's just a peace haven for me, even when I play badly. Uh, yeah, I'll be a little disappointed, but it's still a good day uh, because I'm trying to do something that's probably the most difficult sport I've ever played in my life. And before I lost my sight, I'd played them all, and, but I'd never played golf. With a coach to guide him throughout the course and help him with every shot, Doc quickly found his way to the top. His first win was the United States National Championship. He'd win the same tournament two more times, but it was his second win that stands out. After I went back to back though in 2017 and won my second national championship, the happiness lasted about a month, maybe less. And I asked my wife, I said, you know, I, I, just, I just won the second time, it doesn't, but it's already gone. You know, what's the deal? And she said, you're doing it for you. And she said, you're not doing it to better anyone else, you know? And that's when I decided, I said, I wish somebody would have given, um, I wish somebody would have given me a club at 13 um, and said, hey, I think you can play golf. You're not gonna be able to play these other sports. Because um, it would have been, it, it, who knows? I mean, it could have been a game changer for me emotionally. But uh, that's what we're trying to do now is passing the message out there um, to folks that buying golf is something that can save your life. Doc and his wife created a nonprofit called AVID, or A Vision in Darkness. Their goal, to introduce the game of golf to blind and visually impaired children. About two months ago, Doc received a call for a new student. Five months took him to go from 2020 vision to 2600 in five months. 13-year-old Malachi Johnson noticed in December he couldn't see the score during his basketball games. By February 2021, most of his sight was completely gone. Just a couple months ago, I was playing basketball, and that was my favorite sport. And then now, she, wants me, she wanted me to do golf, and I had no idea how to play golf. Without ever picking up a club, Malachi met with Doc at Brentwood Country Club and learned. Outstanding, Malachi. That's an outstanding chip. First, when I told him golf, he was like, I don't want to do golf. Who plays golf? But the first day out there, he fell in love with it. I'll never forget the first time that he came out. When he came back home, he left looking one way, but when he came back home, he was looking like Tiger Woods. <laughs> this, the sound when you hit the ball makes you feel good, even though you can't see the ball. Now almost two months in, Doc has provided Malachi with free golf lessons every week and a brand new set of fitted golf clubs. 
despite not being able to see Malachi's shots, Doc coaches him off the sound. You hit it in the center of the club face and you hit the ball first. Yeah. I don't care where it ended up, that was what you gotta have on the golf course. You gotta be committed every swing. He's a cool guy. I like how funny he is. Yeah, it makes me feel like I can still do fun things even though I can't see as much. Like, he dumped off a diving board. Okay. If I die, tell my wife I loved her. <laughs> Doc has been amazing. Doc has been a very good blessing because he's helped Malachi open up his eyes and see. Just because you lost your sight doesn't mean anything. I'm blind, completely blind, more than my son, and he's the number one top golfer. Doc has been an answer to a prayer because this has made life so much better for Malachi. So we're still expecting a miracle, but the miracle is already happening, I tell you. <laughs> you know, we're just so grateful to have someone like Doc work with Malachi. We're willing to uh, show him the ins and the outs, and you know, just really, he's almost like a, another family member now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I believe that everybody's here for a reason and we all have talents and we all have special abilities and for me you know when my when my day comes you know i just i just want people to look and say you know we did it <laughs> you know he used it he used what he had um to give back and um that's that to me is just all anybody can do as for Malachi, who now has a new sport to play, now has a new goal to achieve as well. Just to win a couple of tournaments, probably more than him, 